uh, how was the summer? It was a long summer. I don't know about everybody else. And he twisted an ankle, perhaps. He did, the left one. It was just frustrating that I was kind of like a shell of myself. It's tough to move. Do you, do you look back with any regret at some of the things you could have done to, to win earlier rather than put yourself in this situation? No. And it's not only physical, I feel like it's emotional. It's very draining. We fell. That's the ball! That's Brown's eighth turnover tonight. I fell. Oh, man. We let. After the Celtics lost in Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Finals, there's a lot of questions about what the C's are going to do this offseason. They could make some massive changes. The Celtics trading. Marcus Smart headed to the Memphis Grizzlies, and the Celtics take back Chris Stapps Porzingis. It's what got me excited. You guys are already so close. The team is already so close, and, and I felt like I could fit really well with this team, with this group. Adrian Wojnarowski reporting the Celtics have acquired guard Drew Holiday one day before media day. The KP and Drew are some really talented, high IQ basketball players. Drew being a champion, understanding what it takes to get the job done. KP being a seven foot four unicorn makes us so much more dynamic on both ends of the floor. Even though it's been a whirlwind, it's been exciting to get to land on a team of this caliber to be able to try to win a championship. Just know that it's not sweet over here, that, that we want to win. You know how we coming. If you're on that side, just stay on that side. That's all I got to say. Straight away against Barrett. Got Porzingis right side. He's going to take the deep three. Got it! Dagger by Porzingis with 89 seconds remaining. Riding the newest Celtic, Kristaps Porzingis, down the stretch. They score a marquee win on opening night. And I feel like this year, there's definitely another level of focus, of execution. Everything is heightened a little more. I mean, everything means a little more. We can't just you know, expect teams to see us and think that they're not going to try to go at us. We got to go out there and be on the hunt. Ain't like, nothing funny about losing in the, in the conference finals or losing in the finals the year before. You know, this, this season, you know, we got to have that focus level from day one. Oh! I'd say the Celtics are on a level right now the Knicks can't match, but I don't know if anybody in the league can. Right hand, left hand, puts him to sleep, steps to his left, and knocks down a three. This is as brutal a beatdown as you are ever going to see. In and I love it. I love it. Enjoy every second of this. Every second. As the Celtics' Rembrandt of a regular season continues tonight. Oh, back door. Porzingis finds him. Growing up as a kid, and my dad was the first person to put the ball in my hand. I remember when I first got this hoop, all I, all I did was play basketball. Be outside, one, two in the morning, dribbling. My mom told me to be quiet, I'm waking up the neighbors. I didn't care, this was like, this is all I needed. Jason Tatum represents shooting. Uh, of the prospects that were available, he is the best shooter and the best offensive player. He's long arm, an isolation scorer. He needs a, a little bit better defensive intensity, but I thought he was just scratching the surface of how good he's going to be. The Boston Celtics select Jason Tatum from Duke University. I love basketball. I dreamed of this every day when I was a kid. Yeah, it's tough sometimes getting out of bed, played 38 minutes last night, and it's 22 degrees outside like yeah it's not easy but it's like man this is what i dreamed about i love playing basketball tatum and out of the kupo the superstar step back three on the way oh it banks in i didn't understand how special of a place boston was that i got here they love their sports teams they love their guys like i feel like they i've been embraced like they accepted me as one of their guys there's a sense of pride there's an edge that you have to have to to play here but, you know, you come in our arena, we only hang up banners if you win. You either win or you lose. I never got my heart broken, but I can imagine you know, 
know, somebody got their heart broken. Gets into the paint, blocked by Wiggins. Battling, battling, Tatum falling away, air ball. Seeing them celebrate on our floor, that is a memory, a feeling that I'll probably never, ever forget. We're just working towards getting back to that point. It's all I care about, it's all these guys care about. I know how much love I get now. I can only imagine the love, the reception. If you hung one of those banners up, it would be incredible. I, it's going to be incredible. I know it is. Tatum takes it. Down! Holiday, Tatum takes his time, knocks it down! Throw a kiss to him. There you go, see There's been expectations every single year you've been here. Does it feel anything more this year, especially with the roster that you've constructed? For me personally, no, and hopefully I can keep that away from my group. Obviously, we know what the expectation is, but we just need to not know it. We need to come out and be the best versions of ourselves each and every day. So completely just run through the finish line. This is the most storied franchise in the history of the game, and they've, through 60 games, outperformed all of the Celtics teams that have come before it. It is that simple. It is. That cannot be argued anymore at this point. It's funny. You keep waiting for the high point, right? You keep waiting for the peak and then for it to drop off. When everybody has that same vision and same drive, it creates a really motivating environment. It's a grind, man. It's tough, you know? I'm just pushing your body to, to the limit to get that win at the end, to possibly edge our name in storm forever that's the only goal we're going after something that's extremely important to, to us to the team to the city to people we don't know if we're going to get it but we're going after it and you have to be willing to you know for lack of a better phrase sacrifice anything and everything towards that and that comes with pressure with the expectation we wouldn't want it any other way you keep waiting for these high points and now what you're doing is documenting every night they're playing at this unprecedented high level offensively and it continues and they do it again and again and again. All you can do is play the schedule in front of you and no one has played an 82 game schedule better to this point in Celtics history than this team, which now, as you guys know, has the fifth best scoring differential in the history of the game and the four teams above them all in the championship. Brown obliges on the blow by, stops it. Jalen Brown is at a completely different level as a player now. There's just something about him now, the way he's carrying himself and the certainty with which he's playing. He's averaging almost 30 points a game this month. And it's kicking in right now for Jalen Brown because what you're watching is the best version Jalen Brown has been as an NBA player. And that is why I have more faith in this team. Always oh, got a rain on the terrain. Oh, Look at JB. He oh, dropped on Jesus. For various reasons, I feel like I don't get the, the, the credit or respect that I have earned. People doubted him being the third pick in the draft. And you we're very glad that Jalen Brown is a Celtic. Thank you very much. In one way, I think that I have an edge on opponents. I think how I play, you know, why I play. And those who recognize my spirit know that, you know, I'm not gonna back down. I'm here for a reason. And what I did not account for is Jalen Brown's fact that he's improved. I did not account for how he would continue to improve. When he first came into the league, he's wanted to dunk on everybody. His rookie year, he'd go in and just try to dunk on everybody. And then he developed a jumper. Every year, Jalen Brown has gotten better and better. He know Jalen Brown with a dunker! Jalen Brown with the finish! Back to Brown. Last year, everybody teased him. Jalen Brown's left hand. It was like a whole montage of Jalen Brown losing the ball as he dribbled to his left. They doubted him with getting biggest contract in NBA history. Brown and the Boston Celtics have agreed to the richest deal in NBA history. Five years, $304 million Supermax is what it is. And now we look at him. He really has been in the lab. He really has been working on his game. I'm at the point of my life where I am who I am do what I do, and I, I believe in what I believe in. So the ones who are with me, let's rock and roll, and the ones who aren't, like, can kiss my ass. Oh! Oh! My message tonight is, if you can't enjoy these 82 games before the 83rd game, there are 25 teams in the NBA that have never gotten close to having any kind of regular season, like the one you're having now, because one! championship or bust is fine. But you can't, you can't play a playoff game on 
March the 4th, so. They outscored the, the teams they played by 10.7 points per game, almost 11 points per game. That is the fifth best points per game differential in a season in NBA history. Against Charge, steps back away from him, three in the air, got another one. The Boston Celtics with the nation watching lead Golden State by 40. Basketball Reference has a stat that they use called simple rating system. What it takes into account is your average point differential and combined with your strength of schedule. And if you look at that list, this Celtics team is the fifth best of all time behind, again, the 71 Bucks, the 96 Bulls, the 72 Lakers, and the 2017 Warriors. This Celtics team is one of the most dominant in the history of the NBA. Ah! The Celtics have checked all of the boxes. And the end of that sentence is, they've checked all of the boxes of teams that go on to win the championship. So all you can do, they have literally not only passed every test, they have destroyed pretty much everything that has been put in front of them through 60 games. So. If you're a Celtic fan, you shouldn't be afraid of the playoffs. You should be saying, when can they start? For six months, you and I have been hearing the same thing from mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean anything if they don't win the championship. It doesn't mean, okay, all that said and good. The Celtics just painted an 82-game Rembrandt, and there is no, you cannot argue, this is one of the four or five greatest regular seasons in NBA history. And I hope people take this one day at least to appreciate it. It is a championship city. This championship of us. The Celtics were tremendous this year. The best scoring office in the history of the history. Every year that they don't win, it's going to be more and more pressure. Passes to Horford, corner. Yeah! They're going to hear all that noise, the Boston Celtics. They're going to feel a certain way about what people are saying. And I think there is a good chance the Celtics go into the playoffs despite the historic regular season, the 64 wins, 37-4 and four at home. They're going to find a way to go into the playoffs feeling like underdogs. And they're getting disrespected left and right. Jason Tatum this season is shooting 32% in the clutch. That's not good. The Celtics in clutch time often get a little tight and a little into isolation. I think Boston's a very good team, but they don't match up with Denver. And so when we're talking about toughness, that's what we're talking about. You're not tough. You might be talented enough to win, but you're not everything. And Tatum specifically is I don't think he likes that contact and that physicality. I don't think he's tough because they're I, soft. I think it is because it doesn't come naturally to Tatum. Yeah. And Tatum is the best player on the floor, and he doesn't like that kind of game. I don't think it comes naturally to any of them. They lead the NBA in point differential this year, and they led the NBA in point differential last year, and they were second in point differential in 2021. I got one trip to the finals where they had a lead and blew it and no trophies. They are becoming the Buffalo Bills. Who's going to stop Tatum and Brown? The answer is Tatum and Brown. Like, they get in their own way. I don't trust player leadership. I don't trust the leadership on the bench for the Boston Celtics. When the caller says, I'd be killing them if they lost, and I'm not going to give them credit for the win, correct. Here's my concern about Boston. They suck at the end of close games, and they have for a couple years. There's nothing to fear about the Celtics. The Celtics, they're deep. Nobody fears the Celtics. Nobody's afraid to go into the garden. How are the Celtics going to blow this? Because there's still dudes who chuck a bunch of threes and just happen to make a lot of them. And the most dominant season in the history of the game's most story franchise comes to an end. The Boston Celtics cross the finish line with 64 wins and a regular season for a lifetime. How impressive is it is what Joe Mazzulla is doing right now? We've got breaking news out of the NBA where the Boston Celtics have suspended head coach Ime Udoka for the entire 2022-23 season. In the meantime, assistant coach Joe Mazzulla will reportedly take over while Udoka is suspended. Know this about Joe Mazzulla. Nobody in NBA history was ever thrust into the spot he was in for a coach at that age at that experience level being thrust into a must-win pressure championship environment. Got the call, boom, training camp in four days. It's almost like you go into like survival mode. I think it was more about how was it going to affect my wife, my family. And I walk in, I just have a look on my face and I'm like, we're the interim coach of the Celtics. And she's like, shut the F up. And I was like, no, we are really. And like, she didn't even know what to say. 
that coaching staff was also thrown together at the last second they, and thrust into that season right before training camp. I knew I, knew I was going to struggle. Like, I wasn't sitting there saying, like, oh, I'm ready. I got this all figured out. Like, I was like, okay, like, I know I'm going to screw up here. I know, like, I know I'm not going to be perfect. I know we're going to practice isn't going to go great some days, but... I've stated for the record, I think if Ime Udoka was still a coach of the Boston Celtics, they would be champions by now. There is a difference between what Ime Udoka had the Boston Celtics looking like and what they've looked like offensively over the last couple of years. You don't get to dictate how those things come about. If you were to ask me, I would have liked to have had a whole offseason, but you don't get to pick that. And so when you decide you want to win at something, you don't get to pick the environment. You don't get to pick the circumstances. The only thing you get to pick is how you respond to it. You know, Joe's had an off season now. He's got a staff. It's his staff. He just does things a little differently. Um, he likes the uncomfortable probably a little bit more than other people like the uncomfortable. But, I mean, that's just the cool thing about him. Like, that's just the way he's wired. You were coaching on a torn meniscus. I'm just not allowed to lose. So after we lost to Atlanta, went on the match, punished myself, and just pounded my body until I couldn't take anymore and ended up just tearing my knee. So. Joe Missoula is an absolute sicko. The Boston Celtics are a basketball team that's a way of life. And for the time that we're all in charge of this thing, it's making sure we're carrying on the responsibility of what it's meant to be a Celtic the entire time. I was texting Joe and I said, it feels right to have Miami after how last season ended. The inevitable rematch, let's have it. Oh, spin move to Halen Brown! 14-0 is the Boston start. The uh, Boston Celtics led game one against the Heat from 17-2 start to 114-94 finish. They led by as many as 34. And the most glaring number that jumped off the box score was a 30-point advantage from three-point range. This pivot up? No. Three-pointers good as a shot clock expires. Well, in game two on Wednesday night, Miami flipped that script big time. More than 60% of their baskets came from deep. They outscored the Celtics by 33 from the promised land. Gets the handoff, gets a great look on a band screen for another three. What the hell is going on when those guys play at home? And I'm not even just talking about tonight, but for the talent they've had the last four or five years, to be 500 at home, I don't even know how to explain that, to be honest with you. Brown and Tatum, they do depend on their talent. They don't always depend on their effort. You had zero energy. You were flat-footed. You got your ass kicked last night. That was an ass kick. <laughs> Miami goes into Boston, win by 10, and they set a franchise record for threes. They made 23 threes. You never want to lose, especially in the playoffs, but, you know, no, nobody was down. It's a long series. Um, we were confident that we could come down here and, and, and play better. Look at up top for Porzingis. But it's not just bother. We get a follow jam by Jalen Brown. I thought it all started with their intensity and their intentionality, as Joe Mazzulla likes to say. Everything they did was with was with purpose, was forceful, and it was with intent. Communication was on point. You could see that. Everybody was talking. Jason Tatum, contested shot. The jumper is pure. Porzingis is hurt. Yes. He's limping his way off the floor. He was questionable. If anybody wants to ask, I haven't gotten an update on Porzingis yet, so we can save the time. We got a lot of trust and faith in this whole roster, and we're going to need everybody. And White hits another one. He's having one of those nights already. White is cooking after this first time out. Oh, here's Derek White. Stays hot. 19 for White. Drew Holiday finds White coming. Whoa, White! A two-handed stuff! And White again! 38 points, eight threes from Derek White. Man of the hour. Whatever it takes, it takes what it takes. It doesn't matter. That was a real time to play as a team. We got to do it again. And again and again and again. I wanted to play Miami in a sense that, you know, maybe last year playing against Atlanta, we might have relaxed a little bit. But knowing the history with Miami and how hard they play and how well coached they are for a first round matchup, regardless of the seed that we were going to have to be ready to play, be ready to fight. It's the fourth time in five years that the Celtics and the Miami Heat have met in the playoffs, but none of them were anything like this. A dominant 82 game season, historic levels for the Boston Celtics has carried over into the first round of the playoffs. In a five-game series, they eliminate the Miami Heat, and the Boston Celtics are the first team on to round two in the Eastern Conference.
because you were five six as a freshman, no four years college offers. I think I was like 90 pounds my freshman year when I was small, just hooping for fun. And then like my senior year, I was like six feet. Nobody was interested in a six foot 150 kid from Park. Ended up killing at Colorado Springs. You're an All-American by your junior year, averaging 26 a game. And I just wanted to go out there and kill him every time. And then um, when I transferred to UCU, I just wanted to keep that chip on my shoulder and um, just know that ain't nobody ever really wanted me and just to take advantage of this opportunity. The San Antonio Spurs select Derek White from the University of Colorado. And then that second year is really when I got my chance to play. Just got thrown into it. He's like, got no other options. You got to go. He's trying to, to learn on the fly. His big thing with me was telling me that I belonged to, to prove to myself that I belonged. So every other day, like he would come up to me and be like, hey, you belong here. So we've gone up and down without either team. Oh, oh we whoa. caught a body. Oh, White with some dynamite. And then I get a call from Pop and then he comes into the room and just like, we traded you. That's, that's all he said at first. And I'm just where? And we traded you to Boston. I think it would just be good for you and your career. I always knew they were talented, but I always thought they were missing something. I just felt like I would be a, a good fit for the team with my demeanor and, and how I play. I was like, okay, I think this could be a, a good thing for me and my career. Pump fake shot clock down to two. He has to launch a tough three and he hits it again. Derek White has tied game one. And I think I've just played a lot of different roles in my basketball career. Like I was off the ball in high school. I get to college. Then I was the point guard. Like I've played pretty much every role in the, on the court, I feel like, and so I just feel comfortable out there wherever the team needs me to be. Seven threes for Derek White in game one. He just gets better and better and better. My goodness. Oh! Jalen Brown has been cash money. Rebound Pritchard, they got plenty of clock. Looking for some daylight, elevate. The Celtics strike first in the Eastern Conference semifinals. The final score, Boston 120, Cleveland 95. And you have to eliminate the expectation that it's always going to go your way because it's not. Uh, it's going to go the way it's supposed to go, and you got to adjust accordingly along the way. Are Tatum's shooting woes a cause for concern for you? Yes, it is. You know what? I'm so over Jason Tatum. When is Jason Tatum going to arrive? Or does he have that dog in him to arrive? These numbers that I'm seeing from him are the worst that we've seen from him in the postseason since 2019. Jason Tatum's play, does it leave a kernel of doubt in your mind about his readiness to be an alpha and a number one all the way to a championship? Yes. Yeah. We're still early in this. He still has time to find that rhythm because he's yep. going to need it for the Boston Celtics to win a championship. If you've enjoyed not only this video, but also other stories from Sideline Films, consider becoming a channel member. Members get to vote on exclusive polls, receive early access to new videos, and much more. Check out more information in the description after the video, and become a Sideline Films member today. Doing the roll back against the wall where my dog's at. The hesitation, the explosion in the flush. Here's Tatum pulling again. He got it. Jason Tatum, Tatum Euros, and serves it in. Here's Tatum all the way in, lays it home. Done that plenty of times before. I was more focused on, you know, just us as a team responding and playing better. The points, like I said, they'll come and go. I think just the, the poise and the purpose that we played with tonight. Wow, Pritchard from the logo. You know, making sure we won this game through. Has to put it up, does. You bet. 106-93, the final. Boston takes a 2-1 series lead. Yeah, I thought in the beginning of the game, we were playing really, really hard, but not playing with a ton of poise. And they came out with uh, great energy. They played fast, they played hard, they tried to speed us up, they tried to rattle us. And, uh, and I think it worked in the first half. You know. I thought late in the game, we were playing really hard with a ton of poise. Tatum on a step back, splash! The second half, we Pulls herself a little bit better and pulled away a little bit. Tatum turns the corner, kick out, open, Jalen, three, got it! As the Boston Celtics come to Cleveland, they have taken command of the series. We have to be the hardest playing team. We can't take any of this for granted heading into the next game. However long it takes, whatever it takes. Game five at home. What you saw, I think, is what we can be at the highest of level when our opponent brings the best out of us. This is a closeout game where the team's fighting for their life. We have to enter the fight. We have to be the team that's fighting for their life. When you wondered who would be the hero, who would step up in an elimination game, 
It's Al Horford, the best player on the floor, and it was not even close. Al does that. Everybody has to follow. Went on a run and, and played Celtic basketball. There's another steal by Horford. Holiday all by himself. Jalen turns the corner, attacks, kick out Holiday, touches to Horford. How pretty with this thing? Well, you think Al Horford's ready for the conference finals? I'll tell you what. For the sixth time in eight years and the third year in a row, the Boston Celtics are going to the Eastern Conference Finals. You had a long, incredible, successful career. Atlanta, Boston, Philly, even Oklahoma City. I made some great progress my first three years when I was here. Coming back to Boston for me was like a second chance. And I just knew that I had to make the most of it. I knew I had to do whatever I had to do to help us put us in position to, you know, to win a championship. I believe that, you know, with this group, we've been through ups and downs and they've had to manage going from players trying to find their way in the league to becoming these superstars. The blank man is what we're chasing. We're trying to get number 18. Trying to add to the ones before us. I'm trying to make history. I think that's the goal. I think everybody's striving for out here in Boston. So it's up to us. It was impossible where the Celtics had been just a couple of years earlier. They'd be playing in the Eastern Conference Finals. A 19-year-old rookie who just turned 20, playing with Jalen Brown, playing with Al Horford, with the injuries they had suffered, it made no sense. Drives down and throws it down! Wow! Cheering for their team that had this improbable run. And obviously now will come up one game short of an NBA Finals appearance because of that man. That was the start of it, right? We're going to win. And you probably think, like, all right, all right, we'll just get over the hump next year or the following year, the following year. Five Eastern Finals in one final. You have that defeat stuck in your chest. You find yourself doubting yourself at times, like, can you help this team get to the next level? Do you want to quit? Three games to none. The eighth seed Miami Heat lead the two seed Boston Celtics, and no team has ever overcome that deficit, ever. Since the Celtics quit, can we quit? I'm embarrassed for the Celtics. I don't think they believe anymore. Just don't let us get one, so. Don't let us win the night. Bounce pass lead, Al Horford for Jalen Brown. Oh! Dives in and flushes hard on Bam on the bile. The Celtics ready? The Heat know we are coming. All the pressure switches to the Miami Heat. Backs against the wall, we didn't want to go out like that. The moment we'll be replaying over and over and over again. It's in the hands of Derek White, here we go. And a smart, smart turn, space is three. Rings out. Come on, been kicked in, but the buzzer sounded. It'll be reviewed. The Celtics are going to win. There's a game seven back in Boston. Do you believe what you just saw out there? <laughs> I don't, but we're here. I've never been so excited to go back to Boston in my life, and I cannot wait to see all the fans on Monday because it's going to be fun. Tatum won the fire in the lane, crashing into Vincent, and he twisted an ankle perhaps. He did the left one. First possession of the evening. It was just frustrating that I was kind of like a shell of myself. It's tough to move. We fell. I fell. Oh, man, we let the we let the whole city down. There's a lot that goes to it, and it's not only physical. I feel like it's emotional. It's very draining. The Jimmy Butler deal. Turnover, Butler at the other end. Defense to offense. Transition. Timeout. We got we felt heartbreak loss. The Heat are going to the NBA Finals. Obviously, we didn't finish the job the way we wanted to, but. When you don't get what you want, what you get is experience. Went in and met with Brad and Joe. We're not running it back because it's been a couple years of inconsistency. I don't know what the changes are, but I'm requesting that you guys tell me what you think we, we ought to do. And the 2024 Eastern Conference Finals are underway. Halliburton steps away from Jalen Brown, launches a crazy shot, and it banks in! Tyrese Halliburton continues to live right. A miracle three, jumping to his left, and the Boston lead is cut to a single point. 
It sees him. Siakam with the steal. Brown with a bad pass. Here's Halliburton. Inside Siakam, the runner. He throws it down. Indiana by five with a minute 56 to go. Nimhart gets it into Siakam. He deflects it out of bounds. That's Boston ball. The Pacers did the unthinkable and they turned it over. Just impossible. State of trying to get free. Throw it in the corner. Brown fakes, fires up the three. Gets it inside. Tatum across the lane. Out and out of foul. Backs it home. Holiday harassing him. And Halliburton goes crashing and lost the ball. White continues down the lane. Up to Tatum. Sidestep. Three-pointer puts it up. Back. Grand theft. Celtics. They steal game one. When the game ends, I'm thinking, are, are, are the Pacers this good? Or is Boston just a little bit, are we, are we, are we, are we overhyping them? Yeah. Are we putting them on a pedestal that they don't well, deserve to be on yet? Like, I just there. haven't seen them play great basketball yet. If they played that game like, just like last night yeah. versus Dallas or Minnesota, they do not win that game. Well, I'm disgusted with them because I think the offense looks awful. Tatum into the front court, floats it into Holiday, throws it back to the trail of Jalen Brown, oh. who lays it up and in. Do you think this is the best basketball that you've played in your career? Um, so far, yes. Yeah, I think that I've improved on a lot of different things. Uh, one thing that I probably made the biggest adjustment is just my mindset, my mentality. Being focused, but aggressive, no fear, no doubt, no insecurity, playing with a clear mind and just trying to be as dominant as possible. Was there any uh, motivation for you after hearing that you didn't make an All-NBA team? I mean, we two games from the, from the finals, so... You know, honestly, I don't got the time to give it. And Jalen drops 40 in game two. The Celtics hold serve, and they are halfway home in the Eastern Conference Finals. Here we go! Nimhart, quick bag to late Siakam, two hand slap. Celtics get a run out of the gym. Pushed up the three. Nimhart with 13 points. Quarter of the other night, Turner gets it and throws it down. Miles Turner playing with force. He's got 12 points. Largest lead of the series for Indiana. I mean, that was true. 18. I think that the type of calm that we have as a team, I think it's different. Tatum spins, scores, and gets hit. We know that challenges are going to happen, but we know that we can stand any punch. Jalen Brown goes inside. What a slam from Brown. Yo, we having fun, huh? We having fun. Almost this entire place on its feet. Tatum drives, goes inside behind the back. Horford, corner three, puts it in. Come on! Holiday goes inside. Leads in, banks it in, and the ball! Nimhart racing into the front court. Holiday! Knocked away and stolen by Holiday! Yeah! They come from 18 down, and with the game on the line, Drew Holiday showed who he was. Are you concerned that the Celtics haven't been tested enough? The Pacers should be up 2-1. They gave game one away. They gave game three away. If you go down 18 to the Dallas Mavericks, you're not coming back. You go down eight in the fourth quarter against the Dallas Mavericks with those two outstanding ball handlers. Boston concerns me because it's too much one-on-one, UD. Mm -hmm. It's not JB and JT feeding off of each other. Jalen Brown the drive. Leans in. The quarter's up. It's good. Tie game. Right hand dribble oh, wow. past Jalen, scoops it up, blocked by Jalen Brown. He stayed with Nimhart and blocked the shot, spiking it into the ground. Got it back, picks it out, White. Corner three. Pass it. Derek White from downtown. Brown has a vital second. That's it, it's over. The Celtics are heading back to the NBA Finals. All year they said this team couldn't win in the clutch. They said they couldn't win at home. They said they played with their food. And they said the season was a failure if they didn't reach the finals. And it's my privilege, Jalen Brown. I, I believe 
What makes us different this year is the experience factor. I feel like we've seen a lot of different things go for and against us. Um, and I feel like it's prepared us to being in this position right now. Finds Barrett. Get a shot up. This is for the win. Oh, it's good. You know, we started off, we, at one point, it was like 25 and 28. Do you think it's time to blow up the Jays? Why? When one is having success, the other one is not. And that's how it is. So as bad as we all would like to see it work, they can't coexist. The media was trying to push the narrative that we couldn't play together, and that was what was popular being talked about, because at the time, that's what it looked like. Essentially, we are playing 40 games, 35 games, as if like we have to win every game extreme sense of urgency yeah. for 40 straight games and then go from the 11th seed to the second seed, going to the playoffs and the road we took was the toughest road that anybody would have had to take to the finals. We played KD and Kyrie <laughs> in the first round and we swept them. But if you go back, buzzer beat a layup. Inside, Tatum spins and he's Second game we won by seven, third game we won by nine. Fourth game, we won by like five. So we, we swept them, but each game was extremely, extremely tough. And then we go play the defending champs. They were extremely physical, great defensive team. Obviously, they got Giannis. So we beaten each other up for seven games. Step back, three-pointer, bang! Tatum's got 41, and he's got the last 11 Celtic points. We get out of that. We got to leave the next day to go to Miami. If we were the best defensive team, they were the second best defensive team in the playoffs. The narrative that we couldn't play together. For me, it was silly at the time, but how things work, you just got to kind of sit through the storm and whatnot. And the Boston Celtics will go to the NBA Finals. When I say 2022 NBA Finals, what image pops in your head? You know, us walking off the court at home and seeing them celebrate on our floor. And they celebrated in our house. Like that, that hit me different. That is a, a image, a memory, a feeling that I'll probably never ever forget. Up to one with a, with a home game and you dropped the ball. You could hear the music from their locker room. You could smell the champagne. Everybody. It's coming up and saying, you know, next year, or, you know, you did a good job, and it's just like, you lost. You lost, you lost, you lost. Like, it was embarrassing. The whole world was watching, and they all saw us lose. Like, that embarrassed you, pissed you off. Being in that position for the first time, uh, having those opportunities, there was just a, a lapse um, for our group that we just couldn't finish, finish that, that stretch run there. Like, we never really bounced back from that. I was miserable. Uh, I really, really was. I didn't have an appetite. I didn't want to talk to anybody. I didn't want to go anywhere. You know, I just was like in my house for like three, four days straight. You know, didn't want to do anything. If Jason and Jalen win one championship, no championships, or five championships, they're always going to know that 2022 is one they should have got, and it got away. We're just working towards getting back to that point. That's all, that's all I care about. That's all these guys care about. No individual accolades matter. It's just getting back to that point and, and, and hanging a banner. An unrivaled, unmatched atmosphere as a very special NBA Finals is about to begin. One that will see a new team and a new face at the top of the NBA mountain. 38 days, that's how long it's been since Christoph Porzingis last played in a game. Porzingis has said that he is so excited to finally be back, and his teammates and fans are certainly looking forward to having him for these finals as well. Porzingis gets away inside and throws it down. Lively lurking. Porzingis shooting, scoring. Christoph Porzingis, eight points in five minutes. Porzingis way outside, knocks down another. What a start in his finals debut. Irving blocked by Porzingis. He's doing it all. Holiday, Hauser, three-pointer. It's a Celtic avalanche here in the first quarter, a 17-point lead. Here comes Josh Green, one man to beat, but it's a seven-footer who blocks it again. 
Are you serious with this return for Porzingis? Al Horford up, takes the three, drives, storm in the baseline, and slides it home with two hands. Flies in for the right hand slam and the Celtics lead game one by 24. Well, wide open Derek White. Zach three is good. A margin. Porzingis puts it in. Chris Tapp Porzingis knocking him down from everywhere. Dallas trying to get it back under double digits for the first time since late in the first quarter, and they will as Luka steps to his left, hits the three over Jalen Brown, and now we go ball game. Far away, open the bounce, nice feet inside. Jones blocked by Brown. Irving shot blocked Brown again with the rejection. Brown three pointer puts it in. Jalen Brown at both ends of the floor and the lead back up to 22. Boston 107, Dallas 89. The Celtics lead the NBA Finals one game to none. As a 19 year old going from Spain to New York City, playing for arguably uh, one of the most important franchises in all the sports in the U.S. The New York Knicks select Kristaps Porzingis. Uh, you came off an ACL injury, sat out a season. I got hurt. I, I brought in my own guy to do the rehab and the team didn't like it. There was no communication, no good communication between us. The unicorn, Kristaps Porzingis, who has voiced his displeasure uh, with management in New York, wanted out. Uh, and gets his wish traded to Dallas. Do you feel like the, there was a little bit of a young bull with you, specifically with like the Luka dynamic? I think we both tried to, to make it work. I think communication, like maturity communication on both of our parts uh, should have been better. The Mavs, they are trading Chris Stapps Porzingis to oh. the Wizards for Spencer Dinwiddie and Davis Bertans. You know, on social media, there were, you know, whenever somebody said, oh, Porzingis has been, where has he, he has been, you know, and they would like be like, oh, yeah, no, he had a great year in Wizards, and not a lot of people knew that I played uh, some of the best basketball, if not my best season of my career uh, last season. Porzingis! Your exit from Washington, definitely a trade but it was a little bit of a, a free agency as well. You took less money to come here. It feels right. It feels like at this point in my career, this is what I really, really wanted, to be able to try to win it all. And especially wearing these colors and, and, and this organization, you know, which is, as I keep saying, it's like most iconic or, uh, franchises there is. And I'm playing for it, you know, for this team. So it's, it's, it's absolutely incredible, an incredible opportunity for me. And, and I'm just grateful for it all. From day one that I walked in here, it's like a, like a shot of responsibility that you get to wear those colors proudly and go out there and play as hard as you can. I'm going to do whatever is necessary to be healthy and, and to help this team win a championship. Welcome to game two of the NBA Finals. In game one, what a punch from the Celtics. And it's always fascinating to see how the Mavericks now will respond here in game two. Luka, stop and start, gets to 12 feet. Here's the fall away. Got it. He's up to 20. I can see somebody put their hand up. Dallas has the six-point lead. One dribble now, two dribbles in, bounce pass to the corner. Derek White for three, got it. And there's your lead. Holiday, nice sidestep layup. Good ball movement, Tatum off the bounce. Holiday, wide open, three in the corner, got it. Can't get it to fall. Holiday right there, and Tatum banks it in on a foul. Another intangible play from Drew Holiday. It's not pretty, but it's working. Nice pass. Holiday layup is good. Drew Holiday now with 23. Pritchard fields it. Gets across half court. Two seconds. Pritchard from 35. Go! Oh! Got it! He banked it in! Peyton Pritchard. He's been making that shot all year long. Irving gets inside again, left-handed scoop. Alley open. Gafford throws it down. Stops, trying to get some contact. Yes, and a foul. Chance to cut it to five. Tatum to the rim. Shot blocked. Derek Jones with the rejection. Here's Irving. Washington drives. Blocked by White. Oh, what a block from Derek White. How many different ways do you have to win games on the way to a championship? The Celtics lead the NBA Finals. Two games to none. They brought the best out of us tonight. We keep that up, man. We got to be hungry. Got to be hungry. All right, together. One, two, three. Yeah. You win a title with Milwaukee a couple years ago. 
Now all of a sudden, you're borderline the arch rival. Marcus Smart goes to the rack and blocked by Drew Holiday. He throws it off Smart. Milwaukee ball. How soon with that did you know that you were getting traded? I see a call from the GM. And then two seconds later, my agent called And he ended up saying, like, yeah, we traded you for Damian Lillard. So I also had no clue. Damian Lillard oh. is headed to the Bucks. Drew Holiday going to the Blazers. The Celtics didn't have a point guard going into the season. Four days away from training camp. And mm -hmm. then all of a sudden, you pop up. Drew said he's not standing in Portland. He's available. And they come up on you. I mean, it's changed everything. It's been fun. It's been fun. It's been a challenge. I think my responsibilities here are a bit different than on yeah. other teams where like... But being in that Celtic Green, bro, like, it, 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 like the pressure is, like, it's different. All they talk about here is winning. And the only thing that is important is winning. And I'm like, man, I'm, I'm here for it, bro. I've never thought that my value was just scoring. In Milwaukee, I had to score and defend the best player almost every night. I Absolutely. thought that I affect the game in a lot of different ways. So if I don't score, I can still affect the game. I, I feel good about that. that. That makes me feel fulfilled. Again, I'm 33. I'm getting <laughs> into my 14th year. So it's definitely a relief knowing that like, like our team is in a good place of just having a good balance of really good offense and really good defense. Holiday steps into three. Of course, the Celtics up 2 0, but they'll be without that man, Christoph Sporzingis. The left leg injury in game two has him sidelined again. But for the Celtics, Jason Tatum, they're 9 and 1 in the playoffs without Porzingis, who missed games earlier with a calf injury. And with the Celtics leading two games to none, game three of the NBA Finals is underway. Leaning in, trying to draw some contact, fading away, got it to go. Kane Irving, a three pointer, got it! Kyrie Irving from way downtown. Tatum's down the other end, two seconds to go. Tatum throws it down with a second remaining. Second chances now. Kyrie steps to his left, another three, got it. Tatum a three, it's good. Jason Tatum already with three three-pointers. Irving this time again, left hand, a soft touch. The Mavericks happy to be home. We'll take a one-point lead into the locker room. Tatum, nice feed, and Brown throws it down. Back to his left, push pass for Jalen, steps into the baseline, throws it out to Tatum. Tatum, pretty good look, straight away three, got it! Talk about, will he, this be his night? Brown continues the barrage. Tim Hardaway on the drive, goes right, white blocked by White! Here's Tatum down the other end! Throws it down! Now start his drive, switch to the left hand, float it to the corner. Tillman, three, got it! And the boys over there jumping around like... Kangaroos! Xavier Tillman knocks down the three that puts the Celtics up by 13 with two minutes remaining in the third quarter. Switches to the left hand. Jalen drives right Go! down the middle. Flies over Green. Throws it down with the right hand and puts a signature punctuation mark on a dominant third quarter. Finds Green. His three. Got it! It's cut to 11. Luka, right hand dribble coming strong. Two strides, bounce pass in on the corner. Open Washington three. Got it! 17 to 2, Dallas run. Brown, left hand dribble. Bump knocked down, and if it's Luka, he's out. Yep. He put his body in front of Jalen Brown, and Luka Doncic is fouled out of game three. On the drive, kicks it back out. White puts up a three. Bang! Pass inside to Tatum. Tatum double team. Gets inside and throws it down. Brown using the screen. Drives, pulls up, jump shot. Jalen Brown now with 30 and the lead back up to four. Everything they have been through the last few years was encapsulated in one single night. Survived the early storm, dominant on the road, and then scared the living heck out of everybody that bleeds green to secure a win that puts them to within one win of Banner 18. It feels great. Uh, that was a hell of a win. But one thing I can say is that we're not satisfied. Uh, we got one way to go. However long it takes, Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. The beauty of pro sports is how unpredictable it can be. And that was on full display in game four as Dallas dominated the mighty Celtics. But that game was an aberration in what has otherwise been an historic season for the Boston Celtics. Celebrate Father's Day on Sunday and, and um, compete for a championship on Monday. Uh, so it should be a lot of fun. Thank you, Jason. Ghosts are scary. That's one of the first things we learned, right? Hiding under the covers when we read our first ghost stories as kids. To be a Boston Celtic means living among the ghosts. We all feel sometimes like there's something over our heads judging us. 
Well, to be a Boston Celtic means having ghosts, having judgment over your head every time you come to work, literally over your head. The unprecedented roll call of legendary retired numbers and 17 championship banners. The 2024 Celtics have had to navigate two sets of ghosts. The unprecedented standards of the franchise, but also ghosts of their own and the very public missteps on the way to tonight. By the time this night is over, Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown, Al Horford, plus Drew and Derek and Chris Stops, they could be made men in Boston. Celtics legends, a door once you've walked through it, you are through it for life. It's the highest possible standard. It's Celtics history. And the one thing it's absolutely taught us for 75 plus years, the only way to avoid being haunted by the ghosts at the top of the building is to become one yourself. If Minnesota or Dallas does not suffer a significant injury between now and the finals, I cannot wait to pick either one of them to beat Boston. The holidays goes inside, layup is good. It just begs questions. I can't sit here and say I believe in them to win the title yet. Jalen Brown comes flying in on the pass from Holiday. Who's going to stop Tatum and Brown? The answer is Tatum and Brown. Like, they get in their own way. Has to come down, goes back up and in. And so when we're talking about toughness, that's what we're talking about. You're not tough. And Tatum specifically is I don't think he likes that contact and that physicality. I don't think he's tough. Tatum goes up and lays it up and in. We saw those great Sacramento King teams never get a title. We saw those old Buffalo Bill teams never got a title. I'm feeling like Boston's got that feeling. No one on that team scares me. Like, no one's like a dog. A I'm glad killer, you said that. an assassin. At this point, it doesn't seem like they're the best team. Boston fans are nervous right now. They're now scared. Derek White is bleeding profusely from his mouth. He was checking to see if his teeth were in place. You so is ugly. You have to break up the duo of Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. When Tatum and Brown split up, they will both be better off. They will have the two best players in the finals, Luka and Kyrie. Tatum sidestep, three-pointer. It's good! Jason Tatum from downtown again! Four seconds to go. Four for the rebound. Here's Pritchard. He loves these. Bang! Pritchard at the buzzer with a three-pointer. He's done it again! Get it again with the world watching. You want to say Boston out the East, but they never can get it done. I just don't have no faith in them. The it factor. They don't have it. What you're going through is not reality. It's not. Reality is going to show up. Dallas ain't going to do that. Brown pulls back out. Celtics can aboard. Take time off the clock. Brown drives. Finds Porzingis. Timeout, Dallas. You're losing to Miami? You're losing to Cleveland? We probably overrate you in Boston. Tatum? I had moved him up there to one of them ones, and I think it's clear that he's not. Are they tough enough to grind out seven games? Do they have the thing inside what it ultimately takes to take it from someone? I don't no. know. No. Tatum the drive. Tatum the finish. You're nothing no more. You're a chum. You did it. Way to lead them. The 2024 Boston Celtics are one of the greatest teams in NBA history. They were told they had to win. There's only one thing you can do when expectations are that high. Meet them. And there's only one way to stop being haunted by the ghosts and the legends and the champions of this building. Join them. Together they have and together they stand alone on top of the mountain for now. Once again, the Boston Celtics stand alone for all time. It is Banner 18. The mission demanded is mission accomplished. The 2024 Bill Russell Finals MVP goes to Jalen Brown. Glory to the Lord for me, for putting me in this position. Um, it's been a lot of years. I don't think it's sunk in yet. Such a, such a blessing to be a part of this 
this roster. Um, they just drive me in so many different ways from top to bottom. The city of Boston, everything has just been amazing for me. This is a career-defining accomplishment. Mm -hmm. Say that again, please. A career-defining accomplishment. Please say that again. So it was a joy watching the guys uh, just grow as a team throughout the year, but also like there's a group of guys in that locker room that decided they wanted to win on day one. We were going to do whatever it takes, each of us individually, to get the job done. I was like, I'm going to give everything I have. Now we, have, we, we, we get the fruits from our labor. It's crazy. It seemed like it was yesterday. Uh, sit up there with Wick and them introducing me. And, but I'm, I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be here. It's been a hell of a journey. Like all of those moments where we, we came up short, we felt like we let the city down, we felt like we let ourselves down. All of that compiled, and it makes it feel even that much better. And shout out to all the supporters and the city of Boston. <laughs> it's a surreal feeling. We did it. We did it!